You're living with your mother at 38 years old? How much money do you owe your father? I can't give you an exact amount. You owe your father a half a million dollars. So RJ's replay was bought by a guy by the name of Rich. His parents bought the bar for him. Oh, that's nice. So his parents have $700,000 in this thing. So he put in a hundred of his own, so he's $800,000 in debt. He's never really made money. But he keeps taking the money from his mother. Uh, yeah, substitute 22s for non-alcoholics. That's the only thing I could say. So there's Richard. He's the owner of the bar, per se. But you wonder, his parents put 700000 in it. Who really owns right. the bar? Does he really own it? I'm the middle child. I got all the hand-me-downs and nothing new ever. <laughs> if you were three weeks from closing, Ashley, would you be smiling and drinking? Absolutely not. You need a shot. You already found There's Christy. That's Rich's wife. <laughs> so Christy is apparently very social. I understand she invites a lot of her friends to the bar. Another thing you don't do. Uh, Chip's going to get real pissed at me right now because I'm not serving him a shot. Whoa. Chip doesn't need one, but he no, might he have one. Oh, well, I am not trying to serve him. Try. I said I'm not serving him anymore. Don't dance. Serve him. <laughs> Rich, he scared off my table. Oh, Girls. Okay, well, he scared off my table of two girls because he was being creepy. He drinks so he falls over every day. Okay, but if I don't feel comfortable, then I don't feel comfortable. Why are you coming at me like that? I don't serve him like that every freaking day. Now, if you were an employee and that customer was over intoxicated and you said, I don't want to serve him and the owner made you serve him, what would you do? I wouldn't serve him. Cheers, bro. That's the business being shut down. That's my job. That's my life. That is, that is a big fine. I would never ever do anything like that. I don't care. You don't want to party? Get the oh, yeah. Rich. Come on, come on, come on. Rich, he scared away my your growth. Yeah, exactly. That's why. I, like I don't see him. I don't see him. Rich, I don't see him. <laughs> Stop. Like that. So this employee, Chorus, a good employee working gets harassed by a drunk customer. Rich does nothing to protect her. If that happened to you, you would never come back here, would you? No. It's putting them all in harm's way. What the hell? I can't have five minutes. Why? Because you. What did I do? Bring got, it, girl. You got mad at me because I cut Chip off. You said you need the gross. Guess what? I need what? the gross. Guess what, though? Chip isn't buying Ricky is. I'm not cutting Ricky the I don't care how they drink it. We he need the money off in the two bank. girls, Rich. And then he was trying to go to the bar and scare off more. He's justifying not supporting her. This guy's a jerk. Look at them, she's crying. You antagonize me. You're like, I don't see what I don't see. I want to see why he's not defending her and why he's not stepping up because he should. Carlos is I doing need the it. gross. I don't have time for this bull. You know what? Me either. We're transferring it to Kayla. You know what? You do what you gotta do. How is it dealing with an owner who's that drunk? I know. I don't know. How does Sucks. he? No, dude, dude, he doesn't even give a Get He said, deal with it, deal with it. That's my ass on the line, and I'm not doing it. Yo. Yes, sir. Mr. Courageous Manager. Mr. Engaged. Mr. Protect Your Staff. Mr. Be Responsible. Mr. Sober. How drunk are you right now? I'm not sober. How much money did you lose this month? 20,000. So, you're drinking, knowing you're gonna lose money. Yes. You're buying drinks for people with your mommy's money. Not yours, Mr. Big Shot. Mr. Respect my family's money. What the f is up with you? I don't know. I don't know. Talk to me. I'm not a bad person. I'm not. I know, I know, okay. I know, I know, I know, I know. 
Why do you think I stand by you? Come on, don't be like that. She supported you, you need to support her too. <laughs> I know, but they don't know the text messages of your account overdrawing. They don't do it. But I stand by you. It's real for me, it's real. I don't know how to change okay, it. Okay, so then that's where we're at. So then say that to me, instead of treating me like I'm nothing, because I'm standing by you. If you said that honestly. Tell her how far in debt you are. Almost a million dollars. A million dollars. How much money do your parents have left? There is no more money. Look me in the face. I am gonna get you there. It starts tonight. Go close this bar. Get him out of here in 10 minutes. Okay. So there's Brandon, he's our owner. Okay. His mom is older. Not healthy. Our retirement is gone. This guy is losing between two and eight thousand a month. I mean, how do you lose eight thousand a month in here? Are you kidding me? So he has no money to buy more product. They have no money for payroll. His mom has no more checks to write. So this is a clock ticking as we're sitting here. What? And I'm like, what? So there's Anthony. He's a bartender. Hmm. Y'all confusing. He's a good friend of Brandon. They've been friends for a long time, working together about eight years. Yeah, and that's the one. Something, that. anything, just get him taken care of. Okay. Okay. Well, All right. All right. Well, thank you. Uh huh. All right. Well, I'll see you when I get out of here, I guess. So there's Brandon. He appears to be in some kind of crisis management, doesn't he? What could possibly be going on with six customers or so in this bar that would have him in the office at that time doing that? A real owner is gonna be out there talking to their guests, talking to their people. He can go talk to Ryan and Nate, make them feel welcome in, inside the bar. That's all they're really looking for. What's this, that's me? It's like, like sugar cubes. Like a fun dip? Yeah. <laughs> What's in that? Whipped cream. Oh, okay. oh yeah. There's whipped cream in that? Yeah, there's Oh, cream. I can't wait to see uh, this. Do we not have any whipped cream? No, we don't, we don't have any, no whipped cream. Why would they be out of whipped cream in a can? You put a can in the fridge, it stays there for months. Right. It's not like they have to buy it every week or rotate it. You'd think if they have a drink with whipped cream, that would be one product that they would have plenty of in the fridge. Exactly. Try that. All if right. you don't like it, let me know. Imagine it with the whipped cream. Yeah. Ah, imagine it with it. Oh, boy. Um, not bad? Uh, is there a margarita on the... On the Possibility. You want a margarita? Yeah. yeah. Can I actually do a margarita too? Yeah, two margaritas? Yeah, yeah. thank you. Maybe that's where the time for two comes from. The first drink sucks, mm. so it's time for two. It's time for two. We do uh, order the wings, the tenders, and the wedges. And there is a very small, almost residential deep fryer. Right, something that you can have in your own kitchen at home. But a deep fryer like that, you put more than six or seven wings in that thing, the temperature drops right away. Right. You can't cook in a commercial environment with that thing, Phil. No way. You see any gloves anywhere? I see zero gloves. I was just about to say that. So is a bartender trained in kitchen sanitation? Come on. This is a completely different discipline. Bartenders make drinks. Sure. Kitchen personnel are trained to run a kitchen. Do you think that she has any idea how to work in a kitchen? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And where the hell is Brandon in all of this? It looks like he's still screwing around in his office. I mean, that's just absolutely insane. Yeah. Are your wings? I'm going to dive into this little guy right here. Look at his face. <laughs> super, super, super. Phil, the food is absolutely terrible. There's not enough customers in here. Right. We're not going to learn much about the bartenders watching this. Oh, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, that's not very good. Greasy. Yeah, now check your fingers after that. How about this? <laughs> that you want to eat that? That's what the hell is this? Is this supposed to be chicken? That's a sponge. Where is Brandon? Brandon, come over here. Would you want to eat this? No. No, so let's get rid of that. Let me ask you this, would you want to eat this? No. Let's get rid of that. How about drinking this? Was this any good? Let's get rid of that. Was this any good? You see, this bar is such a shithole, I can be spilling stuff all night, and it really doesn't freaking matter, does it? Guys, is there one reason why you would come in this bar? Food? 
Yes or no? No, no chance. Drinks, yes or no? No chance. Environment, yes or no? No. So there's not one freaking reason for somebody to come in here. And where were you all night, Brandon? In the office. What you're doing on the computer right now is it time sensitive? No. So screw all of you. I'm gonna go in the back and sit on my computer. Gee, I wonder why he's failing. Why are you failing, Brandon? I'm disengaged. Do you care? I do, but I don't. Do you care about your mother's money? Yeah. Do you care about her? Yeah. What the f What the f There's only so many hours in a day. Why do you take your mother's money and not show up, Brandon? Why do you show up and go hide in the back, Brandon? Why did you do this in the first place, Brandon, to leave your mother here? Give me an answer, Brandon, please! Give me a freaking answer! Why? I don't know. Why should I help you? Give me a answer to something! I do a lot here, but not... What does he do here? Does he do a lot? Not as much as he should. How much money do you have? How much longer do we last? Four days. Do you guys understand that? He said four days. Four days. Did you know you were four days away from losing your job? No. How would you have felt four days later when he sent you out with no notice, no money? How would you feel then about your buddy, Brandon, who really stuck it to you then? And he never even told you. He's a user. You use your mother, you use your employees, and you still fail. I have to rescue this bar and give him cash flow in four frickin' days. I'm not even sure I can do it. We're in Norwalk, California. It's about 68% Hispanic. A bar like this, in a community like this, should be embracing that. So Mia, there's Michelle. Michelle owns the place. Her father bought her this bar. <laughs> and there's Larry, the father. Her father is in the hole, $364,000. Maybe she thinks this is a free-for-all. Maybe she thinks daddy's gonna keep writing the check. Her husband, Brian, is the co-owner. Brian works five jobs. Oh, wow. Tries to earn money, works his butt off, and Michelle is not doing anything about turning the place around. Now, normally a potato skin would be fried so it's crisped and then topped off. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing this is gonna be very soggy. Look at those wings, they're not crisp, you can see it. Mm -hmm. Um, potatoes are raw. Yeah? Yeah. God, it's raw. Yeah, it's raw. It's raw. Oh, that's gross. Don't eat that, Kevin. Don't eat that. I can't let this go on. I'm going in. I'm like, where's all my bartenders? Michelle. Hi, I'm John Taffer. Is Brian here? Yes. Great, come on over. Brian, John Taffer, how are you? Uh, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Come on over, I want you to meet somebody. This is Maria Menounos. Brian. If you've ever watched Extra, and Kevin Undergaro, I sent them in here to be my recon tonight. So, you didn't eat your potato skins. You love potato skins. I, love potato I know that skins. about yeah. you. Yeah. How many bites did you take? One. She didn't even take a second bite. Couldn't eat the chicken wings. It was raw. Raw. Yeah. I knew immediately because I've been in the food business, so I, I didn't want to get sick, so I spit it out. You have a star standing here who, if she had a great experience, like any customer, could change your life. Brian, what's going on here? How many jobs do you have? I've got five jobs. Do you like the fact that he has five jobs? No. Do you like the fact that the guy works day and night because you're not making any money? I understand your father's $364,000 in debt. Right. Does this make you feel good that he's writing more checks? No. If this was your business, Maria, and you walked in here and saw this, what would you do tomorrow? I would call you. All right, let me go see this bar. There's just like gone call sure. over everything. Maria, you had a strawberry margarita. Yes. This is your margarita mix, your strawberry mix. It expired in August of 2012. Over a year expired. A year expired. We have traps for bugs. 
they're full. Look at that. So you can't even afford a professional exterminator? Wow. Bugs! <laughs> you know the drink that you had that tasted so terrible? That's why. That's where the soda gun sits. Rhyme and sludge, because it hasn't been cleaned. That's what you're drinking. Bugs. Bugs in the bottles? Come on! Even if you get straight whiskey, you're not safe in this bar. This is your business. This is your reputation. Here's what we do with this. That's responsibility. Michelle has been protected by her father her whole life. He's the only person she's ever worked for. He lets her fail and keeps paying her. She's never been given the ultimatum to be successful. It's time that she is. Michelle, you've been given a business. You have no training. And five years has gone by, and you're in no better of a place today other than being more in a hole, that you've done nothing about that. No, I don't believe that. You were satisfied failing. I think that I can still do it. Do you really believe that? No, I don't. There's nobody driving this bus. This bus is just running down the road. She is the only child. Her dad takes care of her. Me not putting extra time in here with her, that's added to the situation. We bail her out. But there's a business that needs to be taken care of. How come you've never done anything about it? What's going to make you wake up tomorrow morning and want to come here and do this? We set up the system where she had six months to learn this business. I train managers for two weeks, and they run my entire business. It's been here five years. Yeah. If you wanted to learn this, could you have? I guess. It was easy to take his money. Are you disappointed? I don't care if she's failing or not. I'm talking about her as a business person. Are you disappointed? Come on. Hun? You're a lousy business manager. You need to learn a lot to be a better one. And I think we can help you. Saying that hurts him more than it hurts for you to hear it. Want to come through for him? Yes. Oh, course. I know you do. We can fix this. We brought a lot on on the table. I hope that Michelle's gonna gonna do what she says she's gonna do. I'm here to back her up 100. percent So I want to understand this story. So your ex-wife, yes, and their mom, yes, Brenda opened this bar 20 some odd years. 22 ago. years ago. Eight months pregnant with me when she wow. opened the restaurant. So. And did she make money in the beginning? No. no. Never. 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 After 10 years, I finally sat her down and said, hey, we, we got a problem here. You've never made any money or brought any money home, and we got a divorce. So this bar caused you to get a divorce? A lot of other things, but that was the main thing. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And you still care about her, don't you? Because oh, you're here. We're close. Yeah. yeah. Even though you're an ex-husband. Oh, no. Yeah, we're we're sure. very all close. So what do you think? So she, like, worked at the keg for so long, but the problem is, when she opened her restaurant, she didn't know how to create a concept. She didn't know how to create a menu that was concise. She didn't know the things that the keg did for her. How has she kept this bar open financially? Brenda's dad has put a lot of money into this bar. How much I, is a lot? I'm going to just guess and say over 500000 A half a million dollars. Certainly hundreds of thousands of dollars. For sure. Yeah. So here's the question. Why is she doing this? I don't know how. She can continue to go in with a smile on her face. I couldn't keep doing it for so long. What's your answer? To pay back her dad. So you think that she still thinks year after year that next year is going to be the year? That's what, yes. that's what upsets us, because we know that that's not reality. I think she's put in 23 years now. And I think that she feels like maybe that would have been 23 years that she's wasted just doing this if she were to close it down. And how is she surviving now? Is she still borrowing money? There's been a few times where she's called asking to borrow money because she can't make her rent. From who? From you? From both us, us too. Well. You're kidding. Borrowing, taking money from your dad is one thing. Taking money from your children is another, Greg. I know. When she's looking for money, how much was she looking for? 2000 So that's how bad it is. Now, if that's there's 50000 I'd almost feel better. She's not going to improve anything with that $2,000. She's just going to make it another day. Yeah. Do you and worry about her? For sure. So this is one of the maybe most important weeks of her life. 
I, I would I say agree. this is the most important week of her life. Right, mozzarella? This must be Victor, the kitchen manager. Yeah. What the hell is that? See the color of that oil? The oil's dirty. Yeah. See how the color starts to become unnatural? It's too dark. Mm -hmm. yeah. What a second. What is that? Mm. What the? That's yes. That's the Off kitchen? Pudding. That's the kitchen wall? So he's cooking right next to that? Yeah. That's all bacteria. Yeah. That's all bacteria. I did not know. Would you eat like out that. of there? No. And then look at the raw chicken going in there and coming out on his gloves. He touched that chicken and then he touched the fryer handle with the same hand. It's cross contaminated. So this, you got it. So there's raw chicken everywhere in there. And then look at the filth on that wall. Yeah. Are these guys cleaning anything? Is there any sidewalk? Are there any closing reports? Is she inspecting anything? How does that happen? Look at that filth. It shouldn't. Yeah. She's going to get somebody sick. You get that? Yeah. This just changed. This is a different game now. This is completely out freaking rageous. So if she sees that every day and walks out of there and the next day calls you and asks for $2,000, is that freaking reasonable? No. So this kitchen needs to be shut down. Yeah. yeah. I can't run that way. I won't have anything to do with that. I'm going to go inside. I want you guys to meet me inside in a minute, OK? OK. Thank you. Oh, Brenda! Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How long have you owned this place? 23 years. This is your life, isn't it? This is my life, yes. How much money have you borrowed? $450,000. From who? From my father. So you borrowed $450,000 for this? For this, yes. And are you making money? No, I'm losing $20,000 a month. $20,000 a month? Yes. Using in this little bar? Are you fighting for this, or are you I, just taking the money from your father and not fighting for it? I am fighting for it. You're fighting for it? I have been it. fighting for it for years. OK. Does everybody around you get that, that you're fighting for it, do you think? I sure as hell hope so. Really? Well, let's see. Let's all go back in the kitchen for a minute. Come on, guys. Let's make it a party. Guys, leave. Yo, leave. Come on back here. Brenda, look at this. Look at this. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. We were sitting in a car. Greg, did we watch him cross-contaminate with raw kitchen? Yep. Asia, would you eat this food? No. Austin, would you eat this food? Greg, would you eat this food? No. How dare you take money from your father and do that? How dare you, Brenda? Did you stop caring? Because that's what this looks like. Can I serve people from here? Can that food go to somebody to be eaten? No, that food can't be served. Now, if you want to burn your father's money, that's your business. But getting somebody sick is in excusable. Guess who's cleaning this kitchen tonight? You are. I can't believe just how bad this kitchen is. And I can't understand how Brenda let it get that way for so long. But she's not the only one to blame. Clearly, her family has been enabling her for all these years. And if they can't at least make this kitchen serviceable after tonight, I don't know if this place is even worth rescuing. Crazy. Josh, you need anything from me? An AC unit would be great. An AC unit, yeah. Unfortunately, that is a little bit beyond me right now. That's Ralph, the owner. He took 150000 from his father and bought this place. That's his dad, John, sitting there. Maricopa OG. And there's Josh. He's your cook. You need to house margarita? Sure. You guys have an uh, old fashioned. We can make an old fashioned. Awesome. Sure. Check out that. Margarita came out of the tap. Something about liquor bottles in front of a palate. Suddenly, a premium right. brand doesn't right. look so premium. It blends in. It doesn't do justice. OK, so what is she making here? It's the old fashioned in the mixing glass. That should be muddled in the rocks glass. Of course, yeah. Because when you're done muddling it, half of the juices are going to remain yeah. in the metal cup. Right. So you're not going to get the flavor transfer you should. So how much soda goes in an old fashioned? Uh, zero. Exactly. Yeah. So she puts soda in it. Look at that. It's a foamy old fashioned. We put a uh, food order in? Absolutely. Uh, wings. Okay. And some chips and uh, guac. Salsa, cheese, and guacamole? You can do the whole thing. Okay. PB&J, bacon burger, okay. got a cheese steak. You got it. All right, cheers. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no bueno. Yeah, that's not good. Try that. <laughs> She starts to say, you owe me. Yeah. Two of the most popular drinks in America, yeah. old-fashioned and a margarita. You think they could get a margarita right? Sheesh, look at those. 
I know, Chef, you always like to see processed, chopped, and uh, formed steak. I was just getting to that. It's all frozen. It's all prepackaged. It's like out of the 80s. Guys, I don't know if they give you the QR menu, but it has a drinks menu. <laughs> yeah, if you have that, it would be great. Yeah, I asked awesome. ask for a drink menu. Yeah. So I apologize. My manager just reminded me. I'm like, oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. one okay. second. I'm sorry. Ralph has a nice way with customers. Yeah. He seems to care. Is it that he cares and he has no knowledge? Or is it that he doesn't care enough to have the knowledge? Right. Hi, guys. I have a Maricopa cheesesteak and a PB&J burger. And the bun's super greasy. That seems suspect. Look at all that grease, bro. All right, here we go. We're going in. This is our store more? Definitely it's not a Philly cheesesteak. OK, the food's out there. The drinks yeah. are out there. Everything sucks. Do you agree? Uh, yes, 100%. So true grit is true shit. Yeah. I'm going to go in and tell him so. Okay, so fail, 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 fail. This one was okay. Okay, so we got one out of two, four, six. Okay, how are the wings? Really dry. Really dry. I can see how dry they are from here. Right? Yep. I can smack this thing all day. It's not going to fall apart. Oh, look at this burger. No, I almost. Who wants? Who'd like to eat this? Is that? Is that look good to you guys? Where's Ralph? Hiding, I don't blame you. Come over here, Ralph. How are the drinks? Disappointing. Do you make the drink the same as her? Not, no. Okay, so no. do you know that they're supposed to make it the same way? Yes. So you never taught them to make it the same way? No. How come? I... Too lazy? I don't even know how. Can you succeed if drinks are different every time? No. Can you succeed with this? No. I don't think so. Look at this. Uh, Look God. at this, folks. Uh, so, you know how much cheese is in this? Do you know how much cheese is in this? Zero. Okay, so you don't know about that. What do you know about? Uh, not very much in the restaurant business. And how long have you owned this place? For five years now. So five years you haven't learned, excuse me, folks, in five years you haven't learned a thing. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. But you learned how to take the money from your father. That you learned, didn't you? John, are you here? Over there. John, has he paid you back? No. If he wasn't your son, John, you would have fired him a long time ago, wouldn't you have? Yep. Blowing your father's money didn't mean enough to you to even frickin' try. So, do you want to deal with me for the next four days? Or do you want to keep your father, which do you want to do? Because I'm not going to be pleasant. Welcome to Bar Rescue, buddy. Thank you, John. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. How hard did you work for that money? I come to the United States with $35 and no English. So you worked hard for that money? Yes. He should be working just as hard to protect it. Yep. Oh, Ralph, come on over. Do you realize your father worked his ass off for this money, and you are not working your ass off to protect it? Do you realize how disrespectful that is? Yes. He gave you this money because you're his son. He wants you to make yourself into something from this money, not be a f up. Are you screwing this up? Yes. Tell him so. For the first time, come clean with him. Tell him so. I. Take your mask off. It's your father. You can talk to him. For five years, I took your money. I didn't try, and I failed. Yep. Yep. Do you want me to rescue this bar? Please. Because I'll do it for you. Please. Tomorrow, I'll start teaching you how to be a success. Not for you. I'll do this for your father. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Jerk. When John called out Ralph, it was something he needed to hear. Something needed to be said in front of everybody, so maybe it will actually make this change. He will have to step up now or never. We can't go any further down. To be fair, the guy's not wrong. He ain't wrong. You know, we're not where we could be. Tell me the story of your brother Nick's bar. He doesn't have the know-it-all that I do learning from my father. He didn't get that experience. He thought bar ownership was a party. So your dad bought the building. Mm-hmm. 
rented the bar to Nick. I don't think my brother's really paid much rent in a few years. Like how much? 5,000 a month times 10 years. Your brother owes your father over half a million dollars. Yeah. And there he is drinking. We drink every night? He's in the bar. He's drinking. What kind of home does he have? Well, he's currently living with my mom. So he's living with your mom and living off your dad? Yes. Are you helping financially now? I have. I used to keep track. There's a notebook full, but... How much money is in that book, would you say? $20,000. $20,000. Yeah. By being a good sister, you're perpetuating it, too, aren't you? Yes. We do not have any Smirnoff. Smirnoff is one of those popular brands in America. No bartender wants to be put in that position. It's embarrassing. We do, like, whiskey shots. There's a lot of shots sold in this bar. Shots are culture here in Milwaukee. But you can still have creative and fun shots. You, could, you should have creative. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so I buy shots. Guess what? We get some more free shots from the owner! He's giving away your money. Are you upset? I'm not very happy at all. So look what's going on upstairs. Are they doing body shots? No, the hair's already coming in. So would you ever let them do this in your bar? Absolutely not. He didn't manscape before all this. It's a brat house. It is. Isn't she supposed to lick your nipple first and then suck it? They're not going to make money like that. He's in the room watching this. Yes, not doing anything. Look at this. Take it like a champ. He has no courage. He goes to the corner to try to avoid any kind of conflict or confrontation. He hides. Hello, John. Nick. It's good to meet you. Good to meet you, too. And when was the last time you made money? Uh, it's been quite a while. So you playing big shot on your family money? Is that the deal? Absolutely. Because you don't seem to be doing anything about it, Nick. Because Daddy will give you money next week. Who's drunk right now, to be honest? I don't know. If... How many shots did you have tonight? You don't have a clue, do you? I don't know what to say. How many shots would you say you gave away tonight? Guess. I don't know the exact amount, no. Boy, you love the phrase, I don't know, don't you? What a crock of this is. What are you going to do to make this work, Nick? Just keep plugging away at it. I don't know what else to do. That's an idiot! I've met some stupid bar owners in my day, man, but you get the frickin' cake. You're living with your mother at 38 years old? How much money do you owe your father? I can't give you an exact amount. You owe your father a half a million dollars. That is an How many shots would you say you gave away? I run myself a tab every shift. You ran yourself a $33 tab tonight. I did. And now you're going to pay that tab. Of course. And I'm not just going to give the bar away. Because you're not promoting or managing it correctly, she's freaking paying your bills. You live off your family, Nick. You're in your father's building. You don't pay rent. You borrow money and, and product from your sister. And now you're taking her money, too? That's what you do to family? I don't know what to say. Good timing. Who is this? It's my sister, Monica. I'm here in very large part because of Monica. How many times has he called you for money in the past five years? Maybe 20. 20 times. How has this impacted your father? He's still running his bar. He's in his 70s. So he hasn't retired yet? No. Do you think he would if this bar made money and he got paid his rent? What has he done to the Why Not brand? This isn't the Why Not brand in here. How many years did it take your family to create that brand? Um, almost 
50, a little over 50 years. And it took him nine to destroy it, right? Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.